Hey friends! I want to eat your heart. No, not really, but we have just started watching, what's it called? Jeffrey Dahmer, The Monster on Netflix. And one of the things that I found really striking was the kind of artwork, this particularly striking yellow lit portrait. So I had a few minutes today to have a play, hence these very jazzy glasses. And we thought we would see if we could recreate the Dharma style yellow portrait that Netflix is using to promote that show. Gear wise, we are using, let me just spin this round. We've got a really cheap five in one reflector set to the black side on a light stand just clipped up there as a backdrop. We've then got Courtney here in the chair. She's being Jeffrey Dharma right now. And then up here, I'm using a new speed light, which is this one the Godox V1 for Sony, which is just a super <laughs> small on-camera flash. I've got it off the uh, camera and I've put it with this massive Lofus 70 centimeter light dome, which I've used all the time for loads of stuff. And let me spin this back around to you. Um, so yeah, the light dome's great. Um, I've got loads of gels, however, didn't actually have a gel in the right colour for this project. So what I did find was, let me just come through here, see if I can find it, was a document folder. This document folder. Um, so what I've done is I've cut, we've cut a circle. I don't know if you can see that. We just cut a circle of this folder out um, and put it on the flash to act as a gel. I wasn't sure it was gonna work. Obviously it's not a proper photography gel, but it has actually kind of worked. So we've done a few shots already just to play around. So yeah, we've kind of set the shot up and now we're just gonna have a play. We're gonna do a few Courtney versions of Jeffrey Dahmer and a few of me uh, as Jeffrey Dahmer. And then I'm gonna get the photos into Lightroom, uh, pop, a, pop a bit of an edit onto them. And uh, yeah, and we'll see how they come out. Right, okay, so, you ready to go? We do a few portrait and a few landscape. Get the bounce card in the right place, yeah? So you can see here, we've got the light dome up high overhead, slightly to one side, but pointing very much downward. Uh, onto Courtney's face. We have got the grid on the light box as well to stop the light from spilling over too much of the background and the scene. And also on our few of our earlier tests, we found that under the chin was just a little bit dark. So we've got Courtney holding a piece of white foam board just to bounce a little bit of that flashlight under her chin. So you can see we're just uh, trying several different shots here and you can see here from the raw shot straight out of camera that we're definitely not at a finished photo but we are getting enough yellow from the flash into that raw file to give us the flexibility to pull in the edit. Now here we're just swapping over so now Courtney's going to take the camera and I'm going to be Jeffrey Dahmer for the next shoot and we're going to do a very similar thing for that as well. So once we're happy with the shots that we've taken, I used a little SD reader to import all of the photos from the camera straight onto my iPad Pro, and we're getting into an edit. So you can see here, I'm starting out just looking at a few of Peter McKinnon's presets, just to see if there was one that gave me a good starting point for the base of the edit. And then once I found one that I liked, I'm playing with all of the sliders, getting the lighting in place. Probably the main one that was really good was the color mix, because it allowed me to really amp up the yellow, change the hue of it slightly to match the show photography that was our inspiration. And then you can see here that I'm applying some radial masks just to further control the light and dial in the look. 
once I'm happy with the general look and then doing a little bit further masking uh, in the show Jeffrey Dahmer was wearing contact lenses for that photo but we didn't have contacts so I'm using a bit of editing trickery to bring up that brightness in the eyes for that really weird um, look so you can see here I've just used the exposure on a draw mask to bring up that color in the eyes I've also healed out a few blemishes on the skin and then just brightening up the eyes here and then finally I was looking at the reference photo and thought the eyes looked a bit darker as if the glasses were almost tinted so I'm just dropping the exposure within the frames there and then lightening the eyes back up like so so once I'm happy with the look on Courtney's Dharma photo I've cropped it uh, to the way I want it and then I can copy all of the settings that I've used for Courtney's photo and then I can find a photo of me that I want to use as a start point um, and apply all of the same settings as my start point for that so I'm just now choosing a photo of me there's the image I've chosen applied all of the edits from Courtney's photo choose my crop for this image and then really it's just the masking that I'm dialing in on this one um, so you can see the way here I've sort of used a mask to give the illusion of some more shaped light similar treatment spooky treatment to the eyes and then darkening down again the lenses of the glasses to kind of give that slightly more uh, spooky eerie look and similar just sort of brightening the eyes just a touch and that's kind of the final look really so once I'm happy with both of those photos I've just exported them out of Lightroom and you can see here the final images so that is how I created those photos. I'm pretty pleased with how they came out. I hope you found that process interesting and informative. If you haven't checked out Dharma on Netflix, then it's well worth a watch. Um, we've watched a few more episodes since I even took those photos and really enjoying it. I mean, maybe enjoying it's the wrong word, but it's certainly very captivating viewing um, with some great performances. So uh, yeah, I hope you liked the video. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up and uh, thanks for watching I'll see you next time